Everyone likes a herd of dinos on their team. But to keep them happy, you've got to keep them fed. And being a pirate of the Ark Seas is no excuse. So today, we learn how to build the salad barge. Next, on Architecture. All right. Let's open up our chest and see the inventory you will need to build this at home. Obviously, you're going to need a wooden raft, but to build on that raft, you're also going to want to add 12 rectangular stone foundations, 9 triangular stone foundations, and then for the greenhouse itself, you will want 12 greenhouse walls, 3 greenhouse ceilings, 6 sloped greenhouse roofs, two sloped greenhouse walls to the left as well as two sloped greenhouse walls to the right and then you will also want to add in a 10 medium crop plots a smithy you will want four stone pipe intersections one stone pipe intake two horizontal straight stone pipes one vertical stone pipe you will also want to add in two wooden ramps and for installation equipment as well, you will need a wooden foundation, wooden ladder, wooden pillar, and as well as uh, three thatched ceilings. Additionally, this build has consumables that you will want to actually have on hand to activate your crop plots once the raft is built. Namely, you will want 10 fertilizers or other fertilizer alternative, otherwise known as poop, and I recommend at least one of the major crop seeds. Amaberry, azurberry, citronella, long grass, majoberry, narco, rock carrot, savo root, stemberry, and tintoberry. And as it might take some time to get those seeds together, I encourage you to get that compost bin up sooner rather than later to start creating the fertilizer you will need. I'm going to go ahead and grab the foundations, the pillar, and I have a raft already in the water, but obviously you would need to drop that in the water before you could do anything. Alright, since we've got the new raft rules in place, probably the simplest and easiest way to uh, start with actually uh, laying the foundations onto your raft is to start with the wooden foundation. Make sure you've got the uh, sail hidden on your raft like this. And then what we're going to do is use this cross beam to try to uh, get the uh, foundation aligned straight and center. Once you get a little bit of comparison on here, you'll see there's about seven segments in each uh, foundation. We're trying to get that uh, middle third one lined up as even as possible with the mast hole along the uh, cross beam of the raft. And once you've got that in, then we go ahead and uh, get our center pillar, drop that in. Once you've got one in, start hitting the foundations. We'll temporarily take one off the corner. There we are. Okay, don't forget to clean up your mess. In this build, we will not need this square foundation here. The front row of the raft will begin the triangular foundations. In fact, while we're here, let's go ahead and get these laid out. All right, once you start sticking out further from the raft, you are going to need to use your ceiling to extend your buildability as you can see you can use a square foundation ceiling piece to move triangular foundations that's perfectly fine and this is yet another build in which the s plus demo gun comes in very handy All right, 
Let's turn our attention now to the rear of the raft. Now this is also a situation where if you have three thatch found uh, ceilings, it helps with the uh, speed of building, your personal preference at that point. Once you're getting the front of the raft built, it'd be a good time to go ahead and get your ramps built up, as we're very quickly going to be covering up the raft to be able to uh, start riding it. So, the first square foundation is where we want to attach the ramps. Basically, it'll be in the center of the raft itself. Then, as we start working towards the rear of the raft, we are also going to want to pick up our irrigation equipment. I've gone ahead and grabbed that. We will want to make sure that we do have an intersection piece as well as the intake pipe and the vertical piece available here shortly as you're going to be putting that in during the foundation laying process. Okay. I've tried to lay out the essentials of the foundation right now. You can tell that we've got the uh, standard line there plus two additional lines out on the side, one additional foundation in the center here. And that's because this is going to be the uh, foundation block that we will be dropping the uh, irrigation into. And we do that by getting ourselves an intersection piece first. Take your intersection piece. What we're wanting to do is get this lined up as perfect as possible. And if you Slowly work through that. Okay, that is looking very good actually. So then we'll go ahead and take the vertical piece, connect it straight onto that. And then while we're working through this, and you can tell by the color change that we have connected the intake valve to the water, to the piping. Once you've gotten that done, go ahead and drop your thatch ceiling to go ahead and drop then your stone ceiling. Take away the thatch and you're good. Once you've got your standing pipe and you can tell by the color change that it actually is connected to the water, this is a good opportunity to start getting your greenhouse equipment and let's get that built. First step is going to be pretty simple. Around the entire perimeter of the rear of the boat, we're going to drop glass walls. Once the perimeter is laid, we put up uh, some of the uh, slanted walls. Then we can add ceilings. All right, now I'll put a personal note of your personal preference here. I'll fully acknowledge that the doorway is right in the middle of the uh, standing area for driving the raft. Because of that, and because this is going to be a greenhouse, it's not a fighting ship, it's not a tactical ship, it's a greenhouse, I don't even bother putting the doors in. This has been perfectly happy for me to walk in and out, and when you just leave it open and walk in and out through just the uh, available foundation space, you can sail through it and fine. When you start putting doors into it, between that and the mast, it can be tricky, you can do it, I'd recommend using a double doorway if you absolutely want to have a door, but quite frankly, you don't need it. I'll show you in a moment that you will have the full 300% greenhouse effect on your space here, but whatever your personal preferences are, 
you're going to be sailing your boat. You are the captain of your own destiny. Let's go ahead and start getting the actual crop plots in. To start with this, you are going to want to go ahead and go to the rear left corner of the raft. And just as close as you can against the uh, walls, we are going to go ahead and get this tucked in. Excellent. Once you've got the first one in, just S key in reverse. Get this as close as possible. Once you've gotten to the uh, hitbox of the actual raft itself, you're going to need to take a step back. This fourth one, there's no way around it. It's going to be just slightly escalated. I don't find it that bad, but I'm trying to let you know what to expect. Repeat history on the starboard side of the raft. Okay, so that's your first eight. We're going to want to be real careful with these last two back here. You can do it, but you're going to have to make sure you're kind of getting the corner slid in and as tight as possible. There we are. Like I said, it is tight, but it is possible. But patience will pay off with aesthetics. Now, there is going to be enough structure, uh, structures available that if you want to fill this center section with more crop plots, you are welcome to it. However, this tutorial will not cover it because this layout right here already gives you eight crop plots, which is what you need to actually grow the eight growable plants in one single greenhouse and a 3x3 foundation that you can sail wherever you need. So I think it's flexible enough right there. But again, you are the captain of your own boat. If you want as many as possible in a small square footage, be my guest and God bless. Moving on with the rest of the tutorial, we've got uh, let me go ahead and give you verification. If you take a look, we are already getting the 300% greenhouse effect. And if we were going to have any problems, it would be with this one over here, which does not have the door, but we have sufficient greenhouse uh, glass around it, we are getting the full 300%. Let's move on to irrigation. All right, let's go over to our intake pipe, and it'll want to snap right as such. Take two other intersections. Connect. Then for your, you're going to want to take those horizontal pipes you have to extend them outward. Finally, we take the intake pipe or pardon me, not the intakes, but the taps and at all the intersections. And you can see on the raft we have fully irrigated and fully greenhouse crop plots. Now it should be said that uh, this piping is S+. S+, plus will place on rafts. I'm aware that often uh, standard piping does not, but S+, will very easily. 
And you can tell we have full irrigation, full greenhouse effect for all 10 plots. Now let's go ahead and get to planting. Now, there's one thing I will suggest when it comes to planting. Because of the size difference of the uh, special crops versus just the berries, I encourage the long grass, the rock seed, the citronella, and the savo root. Four of those make sense to me to plant them along the back row. It'll cut down on your visibility issues you might have if you tried to plant them along the sides. Plus, aesthetically, it just looks better to me that the big crops are in the back, and then the berry plants, which are all relatively the same size, are all going to wind up being along the sides. Personal preference, again, you are the captain of your own boat. So we're going to go ahead and just access the inventory. I like to put the uh, citronella into one corner while I'm here. Drop a fertilizer. Already dropped the fertilizer on that one. And then I like to also put the Savo root into the other corner. Which then of course leaves rock carrot. and long grass. Now for the rest of these, it's your own personal preference again on uh, what order you put them in. To me, I honestly do not care because their plants look all the same. Okay. Once you've got everything seeded, fertilized, we do a few final touches on the rest of the raft. We're gonna wanna go ahead and get the railings. And then we'll want to get the smithy, compost bin, and your standing torches. Go ahead and grab your railings, and basically along the rest of the edge here, we're going to go ahead and put an outline. The only thing I don't like about triangle foundations as they create so many snap points. Grab your standing torches and I'll fully admit I always prefer the S plus because they automatically turn on. And about as close to the railing edge as you can get is where I like to place it. Excellent. And then you'll want to place then your composter. Now for aesthetics, just to kind of keep things balanced, I will admit when I place my smithy, I like to give it a 180 degree turn. Because I think that balances out and looks better. And once you give it some time, in this case, simply a real life hour, you've got yourself a fully fledged greenhouse. As you can tell, this is why I like to see the um, specialty crops kind of in the back row, because I think it helps with uh, the visibility. And then you've got your normal fruits right along the sides. Nice and balanced in appearance too. Show you how she sails. Get my help get myself headed on a good bearing. The salad barge. When you absolutely, positively need to feed your dinos on the go, accept no substitute. If this helped you out or at least made you smile, leave a like and subscribe. I do videos like this every week. 
explore more. That's what the Commander Crew favorite it's for, as well as the Architecture series. If you've already watched all of that, I've got something special just for you. I'm Commander Tom, and I will see you next time.